Sandra and I'm going to run through setting up or updating your VAT settings for your events. So on July 8th, 2020, the UK government announced that it would introduce a temporary 5% reduced rate of VAT for the certain supplies of hospitality, hotel and holiday accommodation and admissions to certain attractions. This cut in the VAT rate from the standard rate of 20% will have effect from July 15th, 2020 to January 12th, 2021. Admission to certain attractions applies to businesses that make supplies of admissions that are currently taxable at the standard rate. This includes shows, theatres, circuses, fairs, amusement parks, concerts, museums, zoos, cinemas, exhibitions and smaller cultural events and facilities. More information on this reduced VAT rate can be found on the gov.uk website. To set up this tax rate for new events or update it on live events, you'll need to navigate to the payment section of your event on the left hand side menu and select tax. Here, if you're VAT registered, you'll need to select yes, as you can see here, enter in the country. So this is the country your tax ID is registered in, your VAT number, the tax name, which for the UK would be VAT and the rate. If you're setting up your event, you can enter in the new rate. And if your event is already live, you can update it by entering in the new rate here. Just to note, in the case of an event that is already live, the updated rate will apply to all orders going forward and is not retrospective. By default, the VAT rate is set to apply to all ticket types but you can select to apply to only specific types if you wish. If you choose this option, the selected ticket types will be charged at the rate you've set and any others that are not selected won't have VAT charged on them. If you need to charge different rates of VAT, you will need to set up a separate event and set the applicable VAT rate for each. Next, if needed, you can set up VAT exemptions for ticket buyers with a VAT ID here. Next, you'll set up how VAT should be charged. So by default, you'll add tax on top of the ticket price and the fees you or your attendee pay. You can choose to include tax in the ticket price. If you include tax in the ticket price, the buyer total or the total price attendee C includes a VAT. The buyer total includes the ticket price you set and can include ticket fees if you're absorbing the fees. This means you're also opting in to pay the taxes yourself on any fees passed on to the attendee. Lastly, you can opt to send attendees a tax invoice, in which case you'll need to fill out your information. I hope you found this helpful and um, thank you for listening today and don't forget to hit that save button. Thanks very much.